Let's take a look at shapes in Cricut Design Space on your iPad. So our shapes button will be in the lower left corner. It's the third button in. If I click on shapes, you can see I have some basic shapes in here. There is the very first one is a line. This is typically used to create a score line, but you can also insert it and change it to a cut line. I'm going to start by just inserting a circle. You can see when I click on that circle, I have an X where I can delete it. I have in the upper right the rotate button. I have in the lower right the resize button. And then in the lower left, I have the unlock. Once I click the unlock, you can see the resize button changes to a four direction. So now instead of resizing proportionally, I could stretch this down to make it an oval. This is the same way that you would do a square, unlock it, oops, there, and make it a rectangle. Then once you have your shape inserted, you can go to edit and by cut, um, there's a little circle that's for the color. So you can apply the color. You can change the width here, like for example, instead of just freestyle resizing, say I know I want this rectangle to be five inches by seven inches. I can type that in. And it did disproportionately because I have it unlocked. If I would have locked it, it would have resized proportionally. If I want to re rotate, I can go 45 degrees and it rotated it. So one thing I like to do um, when I'm making cards is I put in a card base and make it the size I want it to be. And then I go to shapes and insert the line, which you can see right here. I'm actually going to make the color of my rectangle lighter so that it all shows up better. There we go. So now if I have this at a width of five, there we go, I would make this score line. I can see it's a score line right down here because the line type says score. Now I'm going to make this height five and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. And now, if I select both of these items, I can align that score line to be perfectly centered in my rectangle, and now I have a card base. If I then go to Actions, I can attach that score line to that rectangle. So now Attach holds the position. So now I can resize them together, or I can rotate them together. See how that score line still stayed centered and um, perfectly attached, even though I'm changing the overall thing. That's because of the attach fun function. Okay, let's go back to shapes. So these are all your different shapes down here that you can insert. Um, th this is a great basic shape starter. If you need a heart, you don't have to go buy a heart. You can use this one. You can unlock it and stretch it and distort it. You could even insert a second heart. I'm going to do it this way under actions, duplicate that one, make it slightly smaller. And then I can go under um, align and center them. And then I go actions and slice. And now you can see that I created a cute little frame. So there's a lot of things you can do with basic shapes. and They're all free. So that really helps you to get started with your designing. I hope this helped you to understand shapes. And we'll go into some deeper dives into some things you can do with shapes like slicing and attaching in other videos. Make sure to like my video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks.